day again everyone so let's get back to a brief history of Japanese whiskey part two the beginning Masataka Takatsuri now he was born into a sake brewing family in Hiroshima Hiroshima on June 20 1894 and again I'll put the links in and you can read some further history beyond what I'm going to say at the beginning on Nick's web page website as well just the timeline is there so he graduated from Osaka Technical High School in 1916 where he majored in brewing. Now that's from Nicker's website so for everyone who jumps on and says he never graduated that's on Nicker's website. Other sources say he never formally graduated. Okay. At any rate Kihei Abe the founder of Osaka based spirit producer Setsu Shuzo recruited him as a chemist. So he must have studied enough that they he impressed them. Setsu Shuzo had ambitions of setting up their own whiskey style, Western whiskey, whiskey style operation. Or I should, would, shouldn't say Western, it's not bourbon, it's Scottish style. And chose Takatsu to go to Scotland to learn the art. Kichiro Iwai, a manager at Setsu Shuzo and of later Hombo Shuzo, Mars whiskey fame was also instrumental in sending Takatsuru to Scotland. Takatsuru was also fluent in English which was unusual at the time. It is believed that Takatsuru's report on whiskey distillery from his studies in Scotland is the foundation also not of just Nicker but of Hombo Shuzo, Mars, Suntory's and of course Nicker's whiskey production. Takatsuru arrived in Scotland and enrolled in the University of Glasgow in December 1918 where he took classes in organic and inorganic chemistry. In 1919 he apprenticed at the Longmorn Distillery in Speyside for five days, doesn't seem a lot but he spent more time in other distilleries as well, a longer time, to learn malt whiskey production. Later in the same year he apprenticed at the Bonnes and I'll put the spelling up, it's actually B-O-Postrophe-N-E-S-S Distillery in Colkirk to learn coffee grain whiskey production Nick to this day uses coffee stills for their grain whiskey production okay on the same side as where the Migekyo single malt production facility is in Sendai a city about three and a half hours north of Tokyo if you take public transport hence we have Nicker's coffee malt and coffee grain bottlings as well from there. At the university he befriended a fellow student named Ella Cowan or Cohen was eventually introduced to her family and fell in love with her older sister Rita. Whirlwind romance because they married in Glasgow in, the, in, Janu in January of 1920 moved to Campbelltown where Takatsu apprenticed at the Hazelburn distillery to further study whiskey production and blending. They eventually left Scotland for Japan where they arrived in November 1920. Now, Takatsuru left Setsu Shuzo in 2022 after they showed their plans to set up a whiskey production facility because of the prevailing economic conditions, which I mentioned in the part one. He went on to work for Shinjiro Tori of Suntory fame on his 10 year contract to set up and manage the Yamazaki distillery in 1923. Yeah, for those who don't know, Yamazaki is literally between Kyoto and Osaka. If you go 20 minutes south of Kyoto on the train, roughly, you can have the Yamazaki stop. It's a town, not just a distillery, that's why it's called Yamazaki. And if you go like 20 minutes, 20 minutes or so north of Osaka on the train, you can arrive there as well. So, Takatsuru wanted to build the distillery on Hokkaido originally, okay, which reminded him of the Scottish terrain and climate. It didn't go his way, of course, but eventually it did. That's where he got to set up the Yoichi distillery in Yoichi. Tori wanted the distillery to be near Kyoto and Osaka markets. Made sense, big markets to sell, and Yamazaki is, as I said, is practically dab smack, smack between the two. The rift between the two over both the area where the distillery be it and the style of whiskey was never healed. Okay. Hence why. Anyway. Tori wanted the, the milder style of whiskey, which he believed was more suitable for the Japanese palate, and Takatsu wanted a more pure Scottish style, which was heavier, smoky. Anyway, he left Suntory in 1934 after his contract was finished, very Japanese. He didn't quit, did his job. 
and he and Rita moved to Yawichi on Hokkaido. Uh, north, kind of westish, right on the on the coast. Founded his own company and generated growth capital by producing cider and apple wine. He founded the Yawichi Distillery, he started distilling distilling in 1936, and his first whiskey, which was just named Nika Whiskey, was launched in 1940. Nikas Mihigikyo Distillery was completed and started distilling distilling in 1969. So any folks, there's a, just a brief history again of Japanese whiskey, part two, Masataka Takatsuru of Nikafane. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.